Welcome to my recipes. Today we're going to make some authentic Italian pasta carbonara. We're going to need 200 grams of spaghetti, around about 100 grams per person. You can also reduce that if you want to, to about 90 grams per person. Uh, you're going to need some parmesan shavings, just a, a handful. You're going to need about a three quarters of a cup of grated parmesan cheese. You're going to need one egg. You're going to need a cup of chopped pancetta. I like using diced pancetta. I can dice it myself or you can buy it like this. Then we're going to have about uh, half a cup of parsley. You need some salt and pepper. And then uh, you need some olive oil. And an optional extra is to use some Italian spices, which you can normally buy uh, at your grocer. Then you need a wok. We're going to put the pancetta and uh, we're going to make the base for the pasta carbonara in uh, the wok and then you need a pot of boiling salted water. First thing we're going to do is we are going to take the cheese, we're going to pour it in a bowl and then we are going to break the egg and we're going to mix it with the cheese. Give it a good whisk. I'm going to mix all the egg uh, with the grated cheese. It's very important that the cheese is very finely grated because uh, otherwise it's not going to melt properly pan with some olive oil not too much because there's quite a lot of fat that comes out of the pancetta and then we add the pancetta cooking the pancetta until it's uh, almost all the fat has been rendered but we don't want the pancetta to become too crisp now we add the spaghetti to the pot stir it a bit until it's all under the water and soft Keep cooking the pasta for about uh, 10 minutes um, and then we're going to start tasting the pasta and I'll show you what to do to determine when pasta is perfectly al dente. In the meantime, stir the pancetta. As I said, we don't want it too crisp. We just want some of the fat rendered like so. A little bit more, maybe another two or three minutes. To test if your pasta is al dente, cut off a piece and then cut it in the middle. And then have a look and you see there's a little dot in the middle. Now that dot gets smaller and smaller and smaller as it cooks. So eventually when the dot completely disappears, we'll have a look at it when it's done, uh, that's al dente. But just after it's disappeared, that's when it's done. Heat up your pancetta, because that was done quite a bit before the, the pasta's done. Just heat the, the oil a little bit, get it ready. Because we're now going to take the pasta over there and we're going to put it directly into the hot pancetta. Pancetta has warmed up, pasta is ready. Turn off the heat, move the pots closer to each other like so and now we get the pasta from the pot. Drain it a bit. Don't worry about a bit of water going into there, it's just going to spatter a bit like so and then get some more. Try and get this in here as quick as possible because we don't want the pasta to burn uh, at the bottom and we don't want everything to cool down either. Okay, let's move all of that across. All the spaghetti into the pancetta. There we go. And now we're going to vigorously stir it around. Don't be scared. Stir the pasta. We want to get the pancetta all nice and mixed and all of those pancetta oil and the fat to mix with the spaghetti. Like that. Right, there we go. Now we're going to take our mixture with uh, uh, parmesan cheese and, uh, and egg and we're going to fold it into the spaghetti. We don't want an omelette so we've got to do this quickly so that it gets mixed up nicely and evenly coats all of the pasta. We don't want these clumps of egg uh, with parmesan. Everything must be coated. So put your spatula in the middle and then swirl it around to get all of that nicely covered. We take our parsley and we put the parsley in and we do the same thing. We give it a nice big stir like that. Get everything nicely coated. There we go. 
and then some black pepper and some salt to top it off. Have it. Martinez is perfect, authentic Italian spaghetti pasta carbonara. Final touch. Take your pommes and shavings. And let's put a few of that on top of that, like so, and there we have it. Thank you for watching.